Correct answer C. Educational objective identify bolidipsia as a cause of isovolemic hypotonic hyponatremia. Isovolemic hypotonic hyponatremia associated with urine osmolality less than 100 indicates excessive water intake as seen with psychogenic bolidipsia or poor solute intake. This patient has isovolemic hypotonic hyponatremia secondary to bolidipsia. Isovolemia is documented by the presence of normal vital signs and physical physical examination findings. Hypotonicity is documented by the low calculated serum osmolality of 156. Equation to calculate serum osmolality. Serum osmolality equals 2 multiplied by serum sodium plus plasma glucose in millimole plus blood urea nitrogen in millimole. Isovolemic hypotonic hyponatremia is secondary either to impaired dilution of urine or to water intake that exceeds the kidney's ability to excrete dilute urine. Urine. urine osmolality distinguishes between these two entities. Urine osmolality less than 100 indicates excessive water intake as seen with psychogenic polydipsia or poor solute intake. Because the kidney cannot excrete pure water, a minimal solute concentration of 50 is required. If solute intake is low while the liquid intake remains high as seen in pure potomania or chronic low food intake, water excretion is limited by available urinary solute. Hyper Glycemia causes the osmotic translocation of water from the intracellular to the extracellular fluid compartment, which is results in a decrease in the serum sodium level by approximately 1.6 to 2 milli equivalent for every 100 mg or 5.6 millimole increase in the plasma glucose above 100. Although the patient has mild hyperglycemia, her glucose is not elevated enough to lower her sodium to 126 milli equivalent. Diabetes insipidus due to either lack of ADH secretion from posterior pituitary gland or kidney resistant to ADH nephrogenic diabetes insipidus will result in low urinary osmolality as seen in this patient. In the absence of ADH, excessive water is excreted by the kidneys. Serum sodium is typically normal but may be elevated in patients who do not have an access to water. Although lithium can cause nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, the fact that she is hyponatremic rule out this diagnosis. Hyponatremia most often results from an increase increase in circulating ADH in response to a true or sense reduction in effective arterial blood volume with resulting fluid retention. Hyponatremia may also be caused by elevated ADH levels associated with the syndrome of an appropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion. Because she has a dilute urine indicate a lack of ADH, neither the syndrome of an appropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion nor volume depletion is the cause of her hyponatremia.